Hello everyone, this is Damon T1 and we are going to fix this error code. Say, say authentication failed, error code 403. An error was encountered during authentication, please try again. So to fix this problem, there is three solutions I will bring you today. The first one you want to do is to go your network and internet settings. And here you want to go to change adapter set options. And once you are here, you want to choose the, the internet that you are using right now. For me, it's the Wi Fi. You go to properties and then you go to this one, say IPv4 at the end, and then you click properties. Maybe you have it like this obtain DNS server address automatically. Where do you want to do this? You want to use the following DNS server addresses. So all you want to do here is one, 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 one. And then in the alternate DNS server, you want to do one, zero, zero, one. And then you click OK. You can also use this one so it will actually help. And that's it. That's the, the first thing to do. And yeah, may, maybe this one will pop up to check if there is problem with it. And that's it. Now, what you want to do is to right click on your Windows button or the, the start menu and click run. And here you want to write percentage local app data. And then you end it with percentage. And then you click OK. And here you want to search for the folder all the roblox of course because that's the game and you just want to delete it yeah just do it there is no harm if you do that and as you can see there is many files in this in this one basically uh, it's cache files of all the games that you've been playing on roblox so yeah this is the solution and maybe it's taken a while for me here but anyways, yeah, it's just removed. And the final solution I want you to do is to go to your Windows security. Just click on that. Yeah. And then you want to go here to firewall and network protection. And here you got uh, your firewalls. They are all active. So you can do two things, allow an app through firewall, this is the first thing you can do, you basically search for Roblox here, and here it is, and make sure they have both boxes checked, so they will be allowed through the firewall, yeah. And the other thing I want you to do is, for example, this one say active means this is this one, the one I am using right now. You just click on it and it's on. All you have to do is to turn it off, just like that. And that's it. That's all you have to do. There is nothing much complicated. And with this, I conclude this video and I see you in the next one. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.